Fez, Fez, I want to play Fez. Yes, here we have Fez. Fez. <laughs> I'm playing this on the Xbox uh, 360 controller on the PC. The reason for me to check out the PC version is the fact that it is updated, whereas the version on the Xbox 360 is not. This is not a review, this is just me sampling the game for the first time. So let's go take a look. I've heard great things about it. Press A to start. Slot one, yeah. Continue game, start new game. And then, yeah, I just I had some trouble uh, starting the grab, so <laughs> this is actually the first time I'm playing the game. So it's about a 2D critter living in a 3D world, and you can move around. And I believe if you... I'm not sure. It's a tutorial still, but... Uh, yeah, I, I mean, if you like pixel art games, this really is the game for you. So, you can just oh, press to enter a door. So, wow. So this is the world that little critter lives in. Nice blocky world. I guess there we have, walk up to the mailbox. I guess this is the mailbox, X to read. Dear Gomez, please meet me at Tapa Village. I have something very important to tell you. Today is special day. <laughs> Geezer. Okay. Press A to continue. Uh, the R is to look around. Okay, so I can look around. And B to talk to villagers. So let's talk to a little girl. I can run around all day. In fact, I will. Gomez! Gomez! Hi Gomez! Oh well. And there's something else. Gomez house. Okay, so this is my house and I have to go up. And now, from what I understood, this game actually rotates. Not sure how it rotates, but let's go find out. Oh, press allowing the air to grab ledges. Okay, so uh, I can drop down, grab a ledge. Oh, I'm <laughs> entering my home. Okay, we've seen that. So let's go to the top of the village. So Whoops, I'm on a ledge. Let's talk to them. What's your favorite shape? Mine is square. Not cube, that's for sure, <laughs> because there's no such thing. Weird. Um, what's this? Okay, let's enter a, a home. So, <laughs> I'm just, it's always weird in these adventure games that you just, you know, you, you're able, able to uh, to just walk in, into uh, a person's home. Okay, let's let's go to the top of the village because you know I've been asked to. So climb some ladders. Reality is a perception. Perception is subjective. Oh, wow. Uh, 
oh yeah, I can climb through these vines. Open the door. Oh wow, a school class, cool. There's no such things as devil squares, only regular squares. Okay, so let's move to the top of the, the village. Whoa! And then grab the ledge. Perhaps this dude. You're looking nice and flat today. <laughs> Hmm, still have to move up a bit further, I guess. Ah! <laughs> oh man. Okay. And up. So I guess that's the dude. Today is special day. Adventure is ready. It's Gomez time. Any time now. Just you wait. There you go. Oh. <laughs> the rumble. Okay. <laughs> nice big thing forms in the sky. Cool. I like that. I really like the graphics on this game. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> wow. So, it seems like some sort of alien. Yeah, if you can understand that, uh, I cannot. Hello, narrator. I'm a narrator. I'm I'm a narrator. narrator. I'm a narrator. I'm a narrator. first time. Ooh. Cool. Ah, so the world isn't flat. The world is 3D. Okay, so this definitely is special day. Wow. I must say the visuals are amazing. Ah, the Faz, of course. This is the name of the game. He gets a Faz on his head. A mysterious Faz, an alien Faz. <laughs> well, he's kind of happy about it. Okay, so the triggers to change perspective. Ah, look, this is where the game is all about. Whoops. So there's all these pieces. I've read somewhere that these pieces are, you know, scattered all about. Ooh. Uh. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh. <laughs> oh wow. So that was the introduction. Now the game really starts, I guess. Well, if you like paint your pixel art, you know you definitely like this game. Of course you wake up in bed like any art, uh, any other RPG. Cool. Hey, isn't that, oh that's a plant I guess. Yeah. But it's nice, you can actually see how the, uh, how the drum kit works. Okay, let's move out. Hey, that's one of these pieces, I guess. So it's all about collecting pieces of the puzzle or pieces of the game. This really looks great on the PC. 
really a very nice music. Gomez, something went wrong. I need your help. I was sent to guide you. I am Dot. The hexa hexahedron has been fragmented, shattered and shattered all over the world. You must restore it. Without it, everything will collapse. You have received a gift. A great secret has been revealed to you. There is a world beyond your village, a dimen and dimensions beyond the ones you occupy. The door, this door leads to the outside world, but for now is sealed shut. The marking on it indicates that it won't open until you have collected at least one cube. There are many such doors in the world, each requiring more cubes than the last. To reach the end of this journey, you will need to find all 32 cubes. But first, you must leave this place. There are eight cube bits in this village, like this one right here. Together, they'll form a full cube, which you can use to unseal the door. Find them. Well. So, quick recap. Shiny gold cubes. Very important. Gotta find them all. Or else universe collapses with you in it. No pressure. And remember, use uh, triggers to change your perspective. Now get going. Okay, let's collect some cubes. I saw a devil square. Oops, one cube. Let me see if I can just I'll probably just enter some doors. Cool. So I guess there's no oh, wait a minute. can go through here. Chest B. Treasure chest. To force, to, to open it, face it from the front and press the X. Okay. <laughs> These people are, uh, obviously are fans of Zelda. I found a key. Keys can open any locked door, but can only be used once. Okay, so I do have a key in my inventory, I guess. Okay, so, well, oh, look at those. <laughs> uh, okay, let's move on to the outside. Jump and grab onto a, to a ledge. Cool keys, nice hat. Um, let's see. Oh. Oh wait, and then this way. Ah, look. Hello, darling. Wait. Perhaps there's a door on this one. Ah, there's a door. Of course, one cannot miss any of the cubes, but there don't seem to be anything. It's a bit disorienting, I guess, but uh, let's climb, climb on up. Hello. Until this one. Hello. Children, I'm tired. Plus, there's the eye thing. <laughs> oh, cool. This photograph. It's, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, what you hear in the background isn't part of the game. It's actually the washing machine. Can you tell me Yeah. Whoa. Did the sound cool spell it, you did? So I think I'll just, you know, get at least 
Can it be a new direction? Wow, cube. Okay, let's see if I can find some more cubes. Whoops. Okay. So. Oh, look, cube. Do the glasses. Uh, let me see. Another door. Another cube. So, four out of eight cubes. Come on, huh? No. So the perspective is kind of uh, not really a perspective, but oops. There's another chest. X. Oh, of course I have to front it. Ta -ta -ta -ta. A door. Well. As you can imagine, this goes on forever, but I think this is a great game, and uh, I'm uh, going to have some dinner now, but uh, I'll guess you, uh, you, you kind of get the drift of, of this game. Collect the puzzles, new world, collect the puzzles, new world. Great, great lucky pixely game. Like it. Look, the dude starts to sleep. Well, uh, good night, <laughs> and I'll be back with another video soon, but yeah, I guess... Uh, Fez is pretty much uh, worth checking out. It's available on Steam, and uh, I say go for it. Um, right.